the session with Lula that's going to show us the the class and things. Okay, that's right. Okay. Yes. Yes. That's okay. That's okay. It's okay for you, people. Okay. Thank you. So uh, my presentation is isn't uh, that uh, big. It's only a glimpse of what we are doing in Sweden. Uh, only a small glimpse from a, a small town in a rural area in Sweden. Uh, first, first, I must I must take this to my heart. Trust your crazy ideas. I just love that. I just love that. I I wrote it down. I must have that. <laughs> it's it's so amazing. It's like me. So I I've tried to uh, switch over to a presentation. I sh maybe. Could you could you see that? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay, it, it's only a, a uh, Let's turn off the others microphones please for a while. So so okay. we, we don't get too Thank much you. echo. And uh, yes. my my English isn't uh, that good but uh, I I struggle. So if I don't find the words I try it in Swedish. And I know Beatrice is starting to uh, to learn <laughs> Swedish. <laughs> so you, you can translate. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Beatrice. Are you on? Yes, my you know my my English is very very bad, so it's better I'm oh, the silence. Please say your name, where are you from, and where are you living <laughs> now, so oh. the others can get it. And I, I'm Beatrice and I am Italian. I am a co founder of a Make a Space in a Library in Italy. But now I'm, in, I'm living in Sweden with Anders. <laughs> not so, not so <laughs> close, but. Uh, in, the uh, same, in the same my country. Mother, yeah, same country. <laughs> okay, yeah. in Scandinavian. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Beatrice. Okay, we, we open the door for for my presentation. Uh, I pr present myself. Uh, this is me. I'm Anders. And uh, in the beginning, I was a car. I, I think it's mechanic, uh, car engineering. Look, uh, it's um, too 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 uh, much. But uh, car mechanic, I think. But I got bored. And then I uh, changed to a teacher of physical education. And then I got a little bit bored of that. And then I changed to ICT advisor pedagogy. And I've been working for 15, 20 years, I think. And soon retiring. But not yet. Because there's so much fun going on. Uh, you, you're talking about maker spaces and all that. We have an ID in my little town. We have to have a maker space. So we are on the first first day, on the first uh, week, we are trying to get uh, this ID for real. So I, I, I love to hear about your ideas about maker spaces. And uh, I've been a scratcher since I think it's to 2008 or something like that. And I uh, went to a, a course at the university, uh, Turbo Pascal uh, programming um, in the mid 80s. Uh, I, I don't know why, but I just was curious. So I'm no, not a programmer. I'm I'm just uh, think it's uh, it's very nice to 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 deal with. So uh, I had a programming course, and they had the the you know the floppy disks very big, and um, 60, 640k memory was enough. But uh, as you all know, it changed. 
and I'm I'm a, some kind of a tinkerer. I love to do stuff and love to think about stuff. And those who know, don't know where Sweden is, it's up in the north, uh, northern Europe, and now it's getting dark, and it's not even 4 p.m. So this period in November, it's it's uh, almost dark and ugly, and sometimes it's snowing and sometimes it's cold. So yeah, that that's Sweden, I think. And this is my place on Earth. It's a small, small, small municipality. And horrible. Sorry? Very horrible place. Yes. Disgusting. Very totally disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I, I don't know why I live here, but because I, I was born in the southern part of Sweden, but I, I love the, the snow and I love skiing. So uh, that's why I, I uh, moved to, to this place. And uh, it's a very small, 11,000 only, and uh, you can see 11.5 per uh, square kilometer. So we're not, not uh, overcrowded, I think. Uh, and this is a little bit of my passion, I think. Uh, these are, I think it's a grade three, I think so. Uh, they made uh, electrical cars and <clears throat> they have to have uh, the chassis the the motor and uh, the wheels uh, spinning and and working and then they had to have the 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 top uh, i don't know what you call it and they have to make it uh, on their own way they have to make it uh, so it's it's funny and it's uh, beautiful to 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 see and it it should be working as well and uh, i love to have the uh, recycling mat material you see i use uh, the, the pet pet what is it called plastic uh, bottles uh, the caps and everything like that i think uh, you have have to do things the cheap way because in my in my little uh, world it would be very nice if the kids go home and build something like that on their own with their parents or or on their own so not too too much fancy expensive uh, robots i think uh, and that's a project i will talk about a little a little bit it's uh, uh, in the class nine. So this is our, and this is the hard part. I, I, the the curriculum, curriculum is hard for me to, to say. I don't know why. I've trained trained a lot, but it's the national plan in Sweden. Uh, and this is the goals for seven to nine year in engineering techniques i don't know uh, the real word in english but i think it's engineering the the subject they have to make their own constructions apply control and regulation including programming and the programming starts uh, in uh, next year but we started already because we have done the, this before so we started uh, uh, before it's actually mandatory. Uh, technical solutions, electronics, be programmed. And they had to do a little documentation as well. I'm, I'm not so keen about documentation, but I just love the crazy ideas instead. But okay, we have to follow the, the goals the plans so we are using uh, uh, the microbit uh, a little 
if you don't know, it's a little uh, uh, microcontroller. And uh, it's very cheap and a lot of, uh, uh, you can do a lot of things with that. So I, I really like it. And you have the block programming, uh, I, I'll show you later. And you can program it with MicroPython and uh, JavaScript as well. Um, and this is the fir first lesson I, I talk about uh, automation and uh, robots and a little bit of, of that. They have to understand that it's input, you program something, and that's a pro processing, and that's something output. And the micro bit is, is very nice because it has uh, sensors on board, uh, accelerometer and uh, light temperature, radio signal and so forth. Uh, yes. Uh, oh, you, I you think can, you, we, you... we are very flexible group. Yes, we, we, we... And Just we are a small group, so uh, you can keep your questions or suggestions or opinions to to some time later, so we have time for discussion, okay? Uh, I forgot uh, telling this, okay? Sorry, go on, please. Okay, I, I, I get on. Uh, uh, that's uh, the uh, make code uh, programming environment. It's it's block based. And you see up there. No, wait. I was on the wrong screen. I think it's there. there there's you can switch switch to JavaScript if you like. And in in our plan, national plan, they say you should use. Uh, text-based uh, language in the seven to nine grades. But we haven't started yet, so we, we do the block thing. It's much easier for the kids. And uh, I, I made uh, a, a few uh, tutorials uh, for, for the kids. They, they don't like you to... to uh, say, uh, do this, drag this block into that, and do this. They like to do do this on their own. Uh, they get bored if you talk too much. They, they said they said that to me. <laughs> oh, should you talk to this uh, lesson too? No, I said, I have these handouts for you, and you can start, and uh, you can explore in yourself. And then they are... They are very, very good at this, I think. And we have only, only a, a few, few hours. Uh, I think it's 12, uh, 12 lessons. And I think I came coming into the class with the, the teacher, and it's. I think it's so frustrating. It's you. Ca you could only have a brief. Uh, uh, talk about everything and then you do a little bit and then you have to make a project. I think it's too stressful, but that's okay. We have a lot of goals in our uh, plan, so you have to do it very short. And uh, they have to do a project of their own alone or two or three together. And you can see they have started the the left one i think they had started to um, uh, an idea to have a, a servo motor and then you should open a door in, in this uh, this small little house they, they made this house in in the last year so they have kept them so we can use them uh, for for this year and then, then I, you know, we are all the same, probably crazy ideas. I have bought some motors with a propeller uh, for my own, just for what can I do with them? 
and I, I took them to the school and said to the kids, are anyone interested? And there was one guy, oh yeah, and he started to soldering uh, the, the wires and so on and get them um, started. So I, I think he's going to do a, a hovercraft. Uh, I helped him uh, about a little bit with the idea, but it's not really there yet. But we have one week uh, left of the, the project, so maybe maybe I can take a, a photo and film when it's done. Hopefully, it, it works. I don't know. Uh, and now I don't know if, oh, wait a second, whoops. Oh, that, that's typical. I had some, um, some videos and, and I should uh, show you them, but, uh, No, I, it, it, uh, I know why. It's because I use uh, for for uh, the Hangout, I use another Google account, and then I started that, and that's why. But uh, you, I can I can uh, I can talk to you. Uh, you saw see this one in to the right. Some of the the girls. Uh, Yes, I, I, I haven't, uh, I haven't um, put it on on YouTube yet, but I can, I can do that. Yes, they made a unicorn with uh, uh, the wings. Should uh, what do you call it? flap, flap wings, and the eye was, uh, eye was uh, blinking, and it should all start when it's getting dark. So their, their mission was uh, sensing the lights, and when it's getting dark, they should the unicorn should flap with their wings and their eyes glowing, and they and they did it. It worked really. And the the one to the left, it's a, a circuit playground express. It's another board. And it's it's very very nice because you can we you can program it with a make code with the block based and it's interesting be, because you have ten ten uh, uh, neo pixel LEDs it's very bright LEDs you can uh, get a, any co color of them so this this one was um, and I printed the the clock thing. So this one reacts on on uh, sound, and then you uh, flashes the the LEDs. So if you have music, it, it flashes almost in in the same beat, almost not not really, but almost. So I'm sorry I couldn't show you this. Those. Oh, it's... Okay, we have another. We have another opportunities. Um, I, can put I, I, I think that people has a lot of questions to do. Yes. And comments. I uh, uh, stop this one. So I'm back, I think. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, girls, do you work with Microbit? Anyone has any questions or comments? Feel free, please. Yes. Anders. Yes. Uh, uh, I don't understand how old are uh, students. Uh, they are about 15 years, 15 maybe. Nine, nine Swedish uh, grade, nine. Yes, yes. Okay, so it's a ten, ten grade international uh, no. uh, USA USA system ten grade. No, not really. We have a uh, we have changed the government changed. Uh, Just uh, now. 
yes, yes, just now. We are okay. having it a 10, 10 year old. T okay. 10, 10 degrees. So this class, they have already decided the, mm, uh, the kind of school they want to attend. I mean, is there... Uh, or oh, is a general a generalist uh, class? It's general class. Yeah, yes, it's a general class. Yes. Ah, uh, it's still a general. Okay. Yes, and uh, they they have to decide for a uh, next step. Uh, I, for gymnasium. Yeah, gymnasium in Swedish. Uh, I think it's high school in in. Yeah, the last US. three years is a gymnasium. Yes. And so they uh, they have to decide in in. Uh, what do you think about how many I, I, the, I'm thinking about the gender gap, you know? Uh, how mm, uh, many girls are attending uh, technical school, if you know? Eh? Yes. Uh, uh, how have you seen the interest in uh, girls? In yeah. this yes, that, um, most of the girls, they are interested, but I, I, don't, I don't think they are going to to that path to technic uh, because they, they have uh, other plans i think it's too late to to uh, have this one in in the exactly. when they're 15, 15 so. years yes but uh, I, uh, they are very skilled in in programming i think that they are so super learners i i, I don't know what happening because they it takes them only a, a few lessons and they just get it yeah okay i'm sorry if i, I interrupt you but we have time for uh, lula's yes. presentation because she's going to have to show us the class the kids so that's why we are keeping a little bit on time okay yes. uh i'm sorry gus was about to talk something and then we go for lula's okay Gus, please feel free, go on. Could we, because um, we have at 19 a, a second grader, is eight years old class. Okay. Arrived, so you can see them around and working. So could Goose present? So we have, because they're coming at night 10, so maybe if Goose, if Goose presents what he makes and everything, we, ha we get the time for the little ones to arrive. Is okay. Yes, you want some more time, okay? Okay, so Gus, it's about you now. Go on, please. Please. So it's me now, right? Yes. Oh, oh cool. Great. Oh, I'm so sorry. I also have to leave in like 10 minutes, but I would like to be um, very short. And of course, I'm going to leave you my contact so you can see what we do. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Ah, okay. We can hear you. Okay. Uh, yes, today could be a, a little presentation, but you don't escape of about uh, make a more complete presentation at other sessions. <laughs> okay. Yes. yes yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I, had to, I thought we were going to start at seven thirty here, so I, I got a little bit messed up. But I'm yes, going to share yes, my I'm screen. Sorry. So, so now I'm sharing my screen. So, well, first of all, as I told you four years ago, no one was talking about the maker movement in Spanish. Even though all humans are makers, uh, we weren't really talking about it. And a lot of people in, I was uh, at that time, uh, I was in Germany and my, my the, uh, well, Antonio Quirarte, who couldn't make it today, was here in Mexico and he thought that it was a good idea to start talking about the maker movement in Spanish. So uh, in Germany, for example, I was working at a maker space in Cologne and in the US you have the Make Magazine and the MIT doing all this work, but uh, no one was talking about it in Spanish. So Toño Quirarte started a blog called Hacedores. You can go to hacedores.com and the idea was to create a blog for makers. How do we translate the whole, the, the maker idea into Spanish? So he decided to call it Hacedores. And we started posting about, first of all, translating articles. And then slowly we started creating our first space, uh, the Hacedores maker space. 
So when I came back to Mexico, I was working in different uh, projects. I had a, a bicycle shop and different maker projects. And I, um, and I went to Toño and told him we should do something together. So the, what we did together at the beginning is co-founding the, the makerspace and also working with schools. Here on the screen, you can see uh, pictures of the first uh, makerspace in, in a school in Latin America. These are the SketchUp uh, drawings. You can download SketchUp and start doing your own makerspace, at least in the computer. And at the end, this is how it looked. So a lot of people liked the idea. So a lot of schools followed. And this is another school who built a makerspace. That this was the second makerspace in the school that we built. That's uh, Colegio Israelita. That's an advertisement. <laughs> so, so well, we started with this too, and it kept growing. So then, this is another project that we had for a for a, um, a state um, a technology center in in state uh, Hidalgo. So here you see uh, at Acedores, everyone is not only designing and doing Excel, we also make with our own hands the makerspaces. So this is one of the, it, that was the third makerspace that we started building. So, well, it became very, very big. We, I, well, not only we did the spaces, we also, well, we created the spaces, we built the spaces but we also had to create uh, programs for them. So we started designing different programs. Uh, we have a program called Music Makers, where we explore uh, science through music and by making instruments. So we start with a small guitar with one string, and we kept doing stuff till we come to electronic music, and we create a, a full-on uh, MIDI controller. So <laughs> to re to summarize what we've done in in little time, but we created that, and we also, and that's one of the things I'm very proud of, is that we wrote a book. Uh, we wrote a program. We were working till now only with private schools. Private schools had the money, and of course the the the, the well, they were willing to do that. But what about public sector? So we took uh, ten teachers from secondary schools, and we created a training course with a book. Well, it's what you see now. Chrysalis, it's a project that we created together with Hakaranda Education. That's our, our, uh, it's our sister N uh, NGO. And with them, we created this workshop. It's a 50-hour workshop with a 30-hour uh, physical part where we introduced them to the, to, the, to the learning skills of the 21st century and maker education. So it's, it's a way of um, putting in a book the learnings that we gather in, in over four years of doing projects. Because normally when you talk about maker education, we are talking about the inter uh, another context. We talk about Europe or we talk about the, the, the US uh, context. And that's very different to the context that we are living in Latin America. So, well, you can go to, to the website, um, Hakaranda Education, here, uh, as the tree, hakarandaeducation.org. I'm going to write it here. Uh, hakarandaeducation.org and acedores.com. So that in mind um, lead to do this trip that you see now. Mentes Ambulantes came also out of this idea of, OK, we're doing a lot. To, to do this in the private sector or how we do it on the on the public sector. So we decided to do a trip. This is Mexico. <laughs> Here you see all the, the places where we've been the last months. So we decided to visit different communities. Uh, we even got to Guatemala and we were doing different workshops. We were doing a workshop on creating your own solar charger, doing your own weather station, doing a hydroponic systems with 3D printing, creating your own blog, and of course, programming with Scratch. And well, we encountered a lot of very interesting things. For example, this is a workshop with some friends at a Maya community in Yucatan. 
and it was funny because we didn't have light so we were doing a workshop about solar energy in a school that had been living for months without light so it was it was it was really nice you see here the kids building their solar panels and he, you see the principal of the school he was also helping us to explain about renewable energies um, we were also doing some Arduino projects uh, here as you see we're doing a, a weather station it was hard to do these workshops without electricity so we had to 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 buy as many extension cords as, as we could and we drew we had a line of extension cords going to, uh, through the whole neighborhood to our neighbor's house and she allowed us to to use her electricity so it was it was really fun uh, we have the kids here cutting PT bottles so here talking about agriculture um, so it has been a, a, a very 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 interesting uh, experience now with um, uh, how we take this uh, what we learn about creating makerspaces in the private sector bringing it to the public so that has been a little bit of the things that we're doing where are we working now so four years ago we created Acedores makerspace that was our makerspace then we started creating makerspaces for schools after that we start to creating the public makerspaces. So where we are now and where we're working now is to create the first makerspace in an indigenous community. What poses whole different um, problems because we are talking about a community uh, called Sinacantan, where where they well they're they're not very far away from where I'm now, but they face a lot of problems they speak another language a lot of the of the villagers don't speak spanish and so now that we are very um well we're working there and i think it's going to be awesome to start doing what we have done the past years and what we're learning from groups like this into indigenous communities here in mexico so that's a little bit of of the work uh, we've been doing for the cup for the past years uh, I'm going to leave you my, my email and my contact, and next time I join, I know the hour, and, and I hope I can be more and more time, because I think we, I, I want to learn a lot from you, and of course, uh, I want to be more open to, for questions. Right? Okay, Gus. Thank you so much. It's a spoil, <laughs> just a spoil for a lot of other things we'd like to ask and see, and uh but it's it's great let's let's keep in touch and let's uh talk more about your wonderful work and maybe we have our tunnel so you can both explain all this for sure we have a lot a lot a lot, a lot. tons of questions for you with your amazing experience yes because you have passed through the private uh, public and in many countries, as in Brazil, for example, we are starting just about starting it. So that's great. We have a lot to learn from you. Thank you very much. Okay, we are ready. We are ready, Eloisa. Can you hear okay. us? Okay. Yes. Uh, just to know, uh, to know uh, Maureen, now they are at their place at school uh, where Lula works, and now they're going to show us uh, the class, the kids in the, uh, the whole thing working. Okay, yeah. thank you. So, you tell me if you can see here. Okay, well, um, as this is Mariana, Mariana Gomez. Hello. Can you see Mariana Gomez? Hi, Mariana. Nice Hello. to meet Hi. you. Hi. Hi. Okay. Students, we are ready to start. Can you say hello? Hello. Hello. We have friends from hello. many parts of the world. Many, many parts of the world. Okay. Tell them what you're going to do today. 
You still don't know what you're going to do today. So, Mariana is going to explain you. Okay, while you start working, we are going to show our friends our class. Can you tell them what part of the class you like the best? The computers. The computers. And from, this, from the words that we have over in the, the, um, the walls, which message do you like the best? Lula, Lula. Yes? Please, could you stop your camera? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Your camera. Stop. Put in one place so we can see the class and we can talk, not moving, please. It's difficult. Okay. It's difficult to, to, to follow. Yes. Can you see Thank them? you. Can yes, you, see you them? can go. Yes, yes, we can see them. Okay. So, so I suggest if you want to, who wants to, we could one by one say your name. And where oh, no, you, we are, are from, not. so they can see that we are from other countries. We are teachers from other countries, and we are very interested in their work. What do you think about people? Okay. Yeah. Anders, turn on your microphone so you're, you, yes. Yes, okay. Hello, kids. I'm from Sweden. You know Sweden? Europe? You know what Sweden the... is? Suecia. In Suecia. Okay. And in the northern part of Europe. There you go. So, I'm Anders. Nice to be, be there. Okay. Sandy, turn on your microphone so you come up. Okay. Hello. I'm from Delaware in the USA. It's nice to see you. Okay. Is somebody... Somebody's talking? We don't... Look at them. No, can you... <laughs> Can you we cannot listen to you? Is somebody talking? Uh Beatrice, say that you are from Italy, please. Hi, I'm from Italy. Ciao. They're saying hi to you. Hi. They come from Italy, from Sweden. Oh, Italy. And they also come from the United States. And Mexico too, other places of Mexico. Veronica, can you talk? Veronica, say hello. <laughs> hola, hola, mis queridos niños, desde Veracruz, desde el Puerto Jarocho, les mando un beso. Hello, everybody from Veracruz, Mexico. Hello. 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 Adele from Tunisia, Africa. Please, Adele, turn on your microphone and say hello to children so they can see you. Hello, everybody. I'm Adele from Tunisia. It is in North Africa. North Africa. North Africa. Look, Africa. north in the part. North. Yeah. You like it. <laughs> Africa, yes. Oh. Africa. Maureen? Do you... Do you work with Scratch, kids? Yes. Do you like Scratch? Yes. Can somebody tell our friends your makey-makey experience? 
Um, yes. Who wants to talk to us about your makey makey experience? What did we do with that? Uh, we connect like a. You connected what? With a paper? We use your hand. We use your hand? What did you have to do? Before connecting to papers, what? Why did you draw with a pencil? Okay, uh, why, why shouldn't we um, draw maybe with just colored pens? Why should we use the pencil? The graphite, it's what? The graphite what? It's what connects the electricity. Do you have any question for them? I got, they want to know how many years you have. <laughs> Can you listen to them, friends? Uh, I yeah. am 68, 68. I am 68. <laughs> <laughs> well, how old are you? So, what we're going to do now is show you the rest of the room while the students are starting their work right now. Um, we have the Maker Manifest around our classroom in Spanish. The Maker Manifest tells us a lot of messages for them so that they can, so that they can, they can relate when they are working. So you can, in, and I don't know if you see the, the wall here. It says, if you can imagine, you can make it, but in Spanish. And so our room has all these messages. It doesn't matter that you fail, it's part of learning. And also, we also celebrate other makers in, in, the, in the top part. And then we have a second sec section here that is the maker section that has books and we build our own furniture with um, plastic um, liquid soap for the cleaning, cleaning the, the floors. Tell me if you see, please. And yes, we, have we can see. We have magazines, and we also have all um, the Lego. We work with Lego because we have many years working with Lego, but at the same time, like Anders, we also use um, concrete material like cardboard, um, wires, all kinds of things that help us, like up there, see? And even though this is a private school, the school has a lot of, of different expenses, so most of this room is built with recycled furniture, recycled tables, old computers, 10-year-old computers. Um, we try to find, to find the best we can out of any kind of material. Like here, we're, this is um, plastiline, we're doing stop motion with the kids and they built everything. Their castles, their figures. Sorry that they're a little bit messy, but it's that we don't have that much space. We're growing, Gustavo. We're growing, so we need another one, another space. Because Gustavo has been involved with us a lot. And um, we, also, we also have a section where where we have this, when, when you don't have a space to, to put all your material, you can build these kind of things. I don't know if you can see everything. And here, all students from, well, still kindergarten is not arriving, but first grade up, 
first grade to junior high, senior high, 12th graders, the 16 year old, 17 year old, come here. So do you have any questions? Okay, thank you. I think you, now you can come back and sit down. Uh, we have, <laughs> and it's amazing the space you have built. Um, it's wonderful. So we can open for questions and comments, suggestions. What else? Misele <laughs> um, will answer. <laughs> Adele, would you like to tell something? Uh, I just uh, wanted to say that I love the space and I love it also the energy of the kids. Yes, yeah, so, so nice, really nice to see this. Yes, thank you. <laughs> it's a wonderful space and they enjoy it so much. They, they always say it's a, their favorite time of the week when they come to this center. Right now they're starting the class with Miss Mariana, so if we wait a little, you might actually see them in action, not just the interview, even though they were very um, curious about you. Yes, that's the idea, to say that there are a lot of people around the world that are yes. playing with the scratch, uh, make or make, and doing a lot of stuff with that. That's what the idea <laughs> we had. <laughs> So uh, we are about finishing our session today and I'd like to, to ask you for um, any final comments, suggestions. Um, Maureen, would you like to talk? You, please go on. Sandy, final comments? It was, I'll say something, I guess. It was a really great session. It was very good to see the different spaces. Um, I love, I mean, you have a huge space there. What I am curious about is how often do the, uh, do the kids come and how long are they in the, uh, are they in the space for? Okay, that's a good question. Um, they usually, they, they work with um, projects. So when, when they have a project, they usually plan it and they finish it in a more or less perhaps eight, um, eight to 12 sessions and they come once every week. They have one class every week, usually. Whenever they have a presentation, they might come more, but that's like the usual schedule. It's once a week for eight weeks. They finish the project. They sometimes stop coming because another group starts coming or another groups. I mean, many groups, depending on our schedules. This room has become very, very popular. So now Ms. Lula has to really schedule the groups. Lots of teachers want to come and we just don't find the time. That's when Ms. Lula says that she now needs another space. This teacher, Mariana, this is her third year with us in this space. She started with a project with butterflies and they made you know everything since um, sewing, building the uh, making the butterflies, and they were connecting it with a real project with real butterflies in the schoolyard. Um, we have some problems with them because of the weather, which was very cold, and the butterflies were not evolving. But then they they, they that's why they, they started doing it in the classroom or in the in the yard in the garden and in this room to really get the connection of both. And they built it with, a, with robots and art. It was a lot of fun. I mean, they really enjoyed that project. That was like two years ago, that was her first project. And now she's one of the teachers that whenever she finishes an eight week program, she starts another one. <laughs> she, she doesn't want to leave this class because kids enjoy it so much and they learn so much. Sure. Uh, Anders, would you like to talk something? Yeah, I have a lot of questions, but the, but I know I'm, I'm just uh, wow. <laughs> I mean, I mean, this space—it's it, so wonderful. 
I would like to have yes, that in, in a Swedish school as well, but we 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 don't have the, those spaces. Uh, <laughs> yes, we did not have either. <laughs> Sorry, that I had to go and teacher. No, but but uh, was uh, the guy uh, Goss was he, he planning this one or he was not uh, in involved? Yeah, they are going to present this all for us and how they built the how they had begun with all this material. Where did they get the money? They they always oh, this for us. <laughs> yes, for next presentation, sure. We, yes. we would like to know. <laughs> we, are, we are a private school, but we, we have, like I said, the school has a lot of budgets. So every year we try to, to pinch a little bit of the budget, a little bit. And we have 15 years pinching the budget. The budget. It's been 15 years, buying 15. things little, little by little, making fairs, making things to to get a little bit more money and be able to buy something else. And that's how it's been growing. And of course, Lula takes very good care of all the material. Yeah. Hmm. Look at this, look at this, I love it. <laughs> this is the, these are the high tides, the high tides. And these are some of the soldiers <laughs> for their stop motion. Ancient civilization. Ancient civilization. Oh my God! Whoa! He dropped his uh, head. <laughs> yes, and then this is a Halloween costume, <laughs> and this is their for electronics or the graphite electronics. they were telling you about. Graphite. And um, but at, at the same time we. Like we say, we trust our crazy ideas. But please do not think that this space has been built from one day to the other. It's, it's been a process. It's been a process, so it's, it's important. These were actually two classrooms. One was an, a classroom with computers, and the other classroom was actually a design classroom. We torn down the wall and made it a one room, a one huge room. That's yes. great. So I'd like to thank you very much for sharing your work, showing the class, the children. And I'd like to invite you for the next sessions. And we're, we're not finishing here. We are going to be in contact. You are amazing. Uh, I think we have a lot to work from you uh, and learn from you. So uh, I, it was a very, very happiness for us to know more about you, the Mexican that we have always been listening from Veronica about it. Veronica, you were totally right. <laughs> they are amazing. I'm just going to show you the last thing. Maybe it, it's a good idea for you guys. I don't know if you see. This is a this is a plastic box, and because we have not so much space, all our electrical and electronic pieces we can't see, pieces, including. We can see. You have to. You cannot see. Now, okay. Now it's good. It's a box, and inside the box we have all our material so because we don't have that much space we put everything inside the box the best way we can order it see yes and so we go we can go to a classroom with this box or we can move around the space with the same box to create a workshop about simple things or complicated things so that this box goes all around the school like a gypsy that's great. So it's a, a, a suggestion when you think, where can I go? How can I move? I don't have a space. Well, this, you make the space with your little boxes and a big box inside the little boxes. That's the last thing I wanted to show you. And like we say in Mexico, 
here we are to help you in whatever you need. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. It's wonderful, Lula. I invite you for the next session next week. And for sure you have a lot of things more to show us. And we have a, a lot of other peers that can participate in and I like them to, to show. We are taping this session. They are going to see and for sure they are going to, to have questions and uh, asking a lot of things. Okay. Thank okay. you very much. And nice meeting. Nice, meeting. Meeting. nice meeting you all. Bye-bye. Thank you very Bye. much. Thank you. I have to go back to the class. Yes. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. I enjoy it a lot. Nice to meet you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. 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 Bye.